you're still watching Ways. Um, today is Look on the Bright Side Day. Celebrating this day is possibly one of the easiest celebrations that can exist for all we have to do is go outside into the world, take a walk through the street with a smile on our faces as we call friends to spend time together. <laughs> so have you done that today? Absolutely. Being alive is, you can look at the bright side of life, getting through that mad traffic. Ooh. It is. <laughs> The bright side of life is being, in, in fact, there's so much to be thankful for. Yeah. Uh, so. You know, funny, a funny thing today is, shout out to, yesterday was um, my younger uh, niece's birthday, Crystal Zikwi. Then today is her younger brother's birthday. Um, what's his name? <laughs> Joseph Zikwi. And mm -hmm. today they actually took us out. They went swimming from there. We had lunch, you know. So, I mean... It's spend time, you know, no matter how, I had very short time because I had to, mm -hmm. to sort out, you know, Thanks the show and all of that. But I, I really enjoyed uh, the time. Absolutely. But looking on the bright side, though, I think it's very important mm -hmm. because, um, for instance, in Nigeria, if you look at the, 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 the way it is structured, it's actually structured to stress us out. Definitely. So if we develop a positive, healthy mindset, you know, a very healthy, positive mindset, or however you want to put it, it's going to be for your own good. good. It means you are planning to live long because exactly. if you want to worry about everything, mm -hmm. I doubt if you'll be able to, you know, yeah. Live yeah. through the madness we have yeah. in Nigeria yeah. Definitely. <laughs> today. Definitely. There was a study in the UK where they said that Nigerians are like the happiest people. Uh, especially your bad people. Really? I don't know how they came about that, but they said Nigerians are really happy. Because you will like party too much. <laughs> <laughs> you will like party too much. <laughs> Right, so um, Isi, what did yes. we find um, in the news today? Okay, it was reported in um, Daily Post that um, 19, in a heading, which says that 19,273 teachers failed the PQE exams, the PQE, which is the Professional Qualification Exams for TRCN. TRCN is like the ICANN of teachers today. Whoa. Yes. Wow. So if we have 19,000 that actually fill the exams, that means that we have a crop of teachers, we have that sect of pro crop of teachers who shouldn't be well, in the classroom. I want to ask classroom. a question though, Isi, because yes. you are in the, the academic sector. Yes. So uh, first of all, do, did they state the number of people that actually took this test? Then, yes. Then, okay, do you have that figure? Exactly. Mm. We have about 77,000 so of nine, them. So 19,000, 16,000 of them failed. failed. Okay, that's one. That means that it's actually a plus. But the fact that we had this set... No, but wait, hold on. Failed. That's one yes. question. The mm -hmm. second question is, mm -hmm. these teachers that wrote these exams, mm -hmm. are they already classroom teachers? Oh, yes. Or they are, oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Wow. They're already classroom teachers. So it, 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 it costs too much. Okay, so this is supposed exactly. to be like a qualification a exam. qualification exam. Now, from now... From now, um, um, hands, um, from now on, from now on, we don't want um, uh, the set of teachers that come into the classroom that haven't written the TRC and exams. So you must so have that qualification. The, yes, oh. by the end of 2019, December 2019, if you do not have the TRC and you you're not qualified to enter a classroom to teach. So have you written that exam? I am licensed. Oh, what are we talking about? have a start. <laughs> So license, really? So, absolutely, I have my license and I have my certificate. So wow. I had written the exam. That's fantastic yes. news. Do you like? It, does it expire after five years? Or it, the certificate doesn't expire. Okay. But the license you have to, to renew. renew. So it's just like yeah. Years. So, Which is like fantastic. I said, like I said, so they need the to keep testing that you are still yeah. sound exactly. enough. Exactly. Yeah. Because that is the. That, I mean, that is the most critical sector. In everything. In education today. Education is the education. most critical sector. So why do we yes. have people that fail, jam, they have, they've tried, attempted to go into, those are the people that go into teachers training colleges and all According of that. According to Fela, they were taught nonsense by their teachers. <laughs> Nonsense to future right. Let's Absolutely. move on. Um, Faith, what did you find for us in the news? So I found out that in Oyo, the police command um, warned members against the use of fireworks and um, holding unauthorized carnivals. Really? And I 
agree with them. I think it's the best thing because people go wild during the festive season. Everyone's throwing fireworks up and down. They're not doing it properly. People get hurt. Uh, I mean, I I had an experience in um, primary school where a friend those those long ones that just go pop pop pop. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. and then he lit it. And then I guess it wasn't working, so he like tilted it, and then it messed up his eye and burnt oh, his skin. Oh, yes. oh dear! Yes. Is he blind? Uh, no, no, he's fine. Oh. Luckily, <laughs> if that one close call. If you lived in Benin. <laughs> Ah. In the you know nineties <laughs> and early twenties. Oh my know god! How we do. We used Even to do to competition. Today. Mm. To today. So it's this this family house, this compound versus the other compound. <laughs> we cut tons of fireworks. Oh yes. It was it was crazy. <laughs> So in fact, there was a time we shook one of the eighty-one. It mm -hmm. landed in my my cousin's boxers. <laughs> oh my goodness! See? That's so sensitive. So I understand, but uh, but you know you know because mm -hmm. I have lived in the north, and because mm -hmm. of the crisis that happened in the north, you know I I don't have a good you know when I hear those loud sounds, you exactly. know, it took me a long time, time. To, to to start to calm myself, especially when you are you've lived in Wharton. I mean, uh, yeah, like in crisis, yeah. yes, area. So. I, I, I wouldn't agree with you because it, it gets to a point. It's just like a child who is in a water and um, environment currently, and you find the child in a, an environment that there is no war, and it, you know they just hear that loud sound. It makes no difference. Mm. I went through it. That's why I'm saying that mm. because in my university, huh. <laughs> there was a time that they were. They, it was like. Um, a rain of guns. Hmm. This cult Against, versus the other okay, that's the cult. True, that's true. So it got to a point that first when it you hear the sound, you. when you hear so the sound still, in the morning, you wake up and say, oh, oh, I, I get that. scared. I'm no, I, I, I still get scared. I can never get used to that. And it got to a point we didn't bother anymore. You know, you just take it as it comes. It makes no difference. What I found in the news is actually more like a follow up of what I said, you know, I mean, what I'd taken yesterday in the news. That's the statement that. And Ty um, Danjuma made about okay. um, what's it called? If he says what he knows about Nigeria, that most Nigerians will never, I mean, they will never, they will not be, they will be sleepless. I mean, mm -hmm. that was very, very, like I said, I mean, as I said yesterday, it's a very strong statement, statement you know, and um, a group in the um, Niger Delta. Uh, region, I think they call them the Middle Belt con uh, Conscience Guard. Mm -hmm. You know, they are calling him, um, they're out. calling him out, and they're telling him that, Oga, okay, this statement is too great for you to just, you know, keep to yourself. You, you need to, you need to be careful. Or that, uh, uh, how do they put it? That inglorious comments like this should not come from somebody in his capacity. And I think I agree because it if is. you have said this kind of things, you know, you make us worry. You know, I understand that there are a lot of things happening in Nigeria currently, you know. I think maybe he should have said it with a bit of caution, you know. And look at, we were talking about social media bill, mm -hmm. and we're talking about hate speeches and whatever. This is actually a very strong, direct allegation to the government. I, so I, how come I, nobody's saying anything about I, what he said? I, I, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't uh, be upset with him for saying it, because if you love something so much, if you love your country so much, which I think to the, the general is in love with his country, he feels the pain of the people, and I think he needed to say it out, voice it out, to let the people hear him I understand, out. but I'm so, saying that that allegation is strong. So if you, even if you want to say it, I think you would have phrased it better. Phrase it. Don't tell me I will get sleepless night. Do you know what um, it means that we you're already worried? <laughs> we're already worried the about a lot of things. Country. And they, they also, uh, they also said that it's actually it is not timely. You know, at this at critical this time season, where exactly. there's a lot of things going there on. There are always a, a things know? to worry about in Nigeria. <laughs> it's n <All> right. <laughs> Every time is critical in Nigeria. I'm telling you, but well, oh. we'll leave it there. <laughs> Not me that said it. <laughs> All right, so um, as we said earlier, we're discussing internet fraud, and mm -hmm. up next, Charles Edo Someone joins us after this break. Mm -hmm.